For this project, I'm going to show you how to make some wall pockets. So this is a piece designed to hang on a wall, and after it's done we'll put a hook on the back. And then it has a little pocket that you can put uh, dried flowers in, or little knickknacks, or an air plant, or something like that, that um, would look cool displayed. on the wall. Here's one where I put a little air plant in. And these are easy to make and they can be made in all sorts of different shapes and then you can decorate them any way you like. Here's a larger one, circular, with this pocket and a hook on the back so it hangs on the wall. This one has lots of texture. So the way to start this project is to roll out a slab of clay because you want a thin slab to work with. Now we always work on our canvas mat except for when we're rolling clay because it slips around too much. So take your clay, flatten it as much as you can with your hands. And take your rolling pin. Always push away from yourself, lift it up after each one. If you roll back and forth like this, it doesn't really do anything. Then turn your piece, push away from yourself, turn your piece, and this makes sure that you're rolling it evenly thin all the way around. It's not getting too thin here and staying too thick there. Once it gets thinner, you do have to pick it up with both hands because it does start to stick. And then you want it to be about a quarter inch thick, kind of like the thickness of your pinky finger. Now we put it back on our mat. So it doesn't stick to the surface you're working on and have to be destroyed when you pull it up. We always work on our canvas mat. So then that's a nice big piece. Now you want to cut around the template of the shape you're going to make your wall pocket. I've supplied some cardboard squares. You certainly don't have to do a square. You could uh, find a plate in your kitchen or a bowl and trace around that to make a circle. You basically, or you could take your cardboard and and cut it into a different shape. This one is sort of square on the bottom and round on the top. You could cut that shape out of cardboard. But as an example, we're gonna use the square one. So you're gonna lay that shape down, cut around it, put your scraps off to the side, Now, you need a second piece, because these wall pockets have the base shape, and then they have basically what's half of the base shape is gonna be the pocket part. So decide which way you want your pocket to face. I think I like having it be a triangle more. So that means that this part I need to have a pocket for, which is half of this shape. So the way I do that is take your extra clay, get a nice straight line across here. I'm going to move my scraps off to the side. I'm going to take my template and I'm going to lay it so the half I want is over top. And just cut that part out. If, for instance, you were doing a circle, you would have laid your circle halfway, cut around, so it's a half circle. Now you want to smooth those edges with your sponge that's damp 
but not dripping wet. You wet it and squeezed it out. Make nice, smooth edges. And the same for your pocket. Use your fingers too. Pick that up, smooth it even more, and get ready to assemble it. It's going to go on like that. But I find that it's actually easier sometimes to do the decorating and texturizing before you put the piece together. So think about how you want to decorate it. This one, I cut out a moon shape and I kind of made it look like a compass. North, east, south, west, and a sun down here, just for fun. And I cut a little few notches out along here so it looked uneven. This is where your beads come in handy because they make a lot of really cool textures. I always suggest that you move your project piece aside, take your extra clay, and try out textures before you do it on your project. The ends make kind of this kind of a circular imprint. This one that looks like a flower, pressed in, looks like a flower. Or if you use the edge and roll the edge along, it makes an interesting kind of a track pattern. It's another little one with smaller dots, different kind of end. And then you can also just take your um, tool and scratch all sorts of things in there. You could write words if you wanted to, or draw pictures. So, think of how you're going to decorate that base part. I think I'm going to do some polka dot textures. And that's going to be this bottom part. And then think about how you might want to texture the top. Remember this one, half of it, this side, you're not going to see very much because it's inside the pocket. So what might you want on the top? I'm going to do little tiny dots in the center and then maybe some flowers off to the side. This is a time where you can add cutout pieces on too, like I did with this moon. So that, I just took a separate piece of clay and cut out whatever shape you might want. Or cookie cutters if you have them. You can always wash them afterwards. They're great to use with clay. Kind of make that crescent moon. Now you remember when you join two pieces, you have got to scratch and attach. So I'll scratch that bottom a little bit where it's going to go. Put my slip, press that on there. Now that becomes permanent. Okay, now we're ready to make the pocket this is going to go along here, but it needs to have that little pocket formed in there. So this is where you get a um, couple paper towels are the best thing, but you can use crumpled up paper. The paper towels are nice and soft, and you kind of crumple them up till they're about the, the size that would fit on here. You don't want them to go off over the side, you want them to fit on here. And they are going to hold up your piece 
to form the pocket while it's drying. That helps you hold it up. So you place your paper towel there, then you get some nice scratching on both sides of what's going to be joined here. Paint on that slip and then fit your piece on so it just lines up on both sides and kind of press the edge almost like you're making an apple turnover or something. And if you want it a little bit more room inside, kind of crumple up your paper towel so it makes it stick out even more. Press the edge. And then sometimes I like to put something kind of on each of these little spots. If you need to add more paper towel to hold it up just right, you can. So in this instance, I'm gonna put a round ball on each little spot, corner, put my flower imprint on there. It almost looks like a sun too. Now you wanna smooth your edge And play with that paper towel inside so it's held up just right. When you get it the way you want it, just let it sit and dry. You don't want to move it around too much right now because it's wiggly. So just let it sit and start drying. And when it's uh, all done drying, you can pull out that paper towel. That'll come out real easily. And then again, after we fire it, with permanent, we'll glue that hook on the back here. So here are some of the details on this one. I have lots of little tracks. This is a leaf I rolled in there. That's a little snail, or made out of a coil. So it just kind of looks like a garden scape. There's a dragonfly I drew in, and a little bee. <clears throat> so you can add all sorts of details to your wall pocket.